Right, so this is Children of Morda. It's an RPG that was released in 2019. This is the intro, I guess. Pretty interesting. Whoa, what just happened there? Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. Whoa. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked, echoing through the quiet rooms. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife gave him a kiss, and his daughter's hugs were full of reason to return home safe. Okay, uh, let's see, first we just... Okay, so uh, this looks like an action RPG to me. Yeah, yeah, it's an action RPG, I think. All right, uh, interesting choice of graphics. It's actually pr pretty cool. Um, it's not exactly the same as other retro, uh, like pixelated graphics I've seen in indie games. This one actually reminds me more of uh, the graphics similar to like Another World or Out of This World. Um, so those kind, of, those kind of cinematic graphics, which is a really cool, or flashback, you know, those kind of games. So, that's interesting. Rhea, a land long forgotten, a place of unimaginable beauty. Yeah, the graphics remind me of Another World. That's, that's really cool. That's a great looking game for the time. Oh, is that a safe spot? Okay. It first appeared as sludge given life, slithering creatures. Also, Hyper Light small Drifter, I think. And vile. Yeah, Hyper Light Drifter, that's another game it kind of reminds me of. Or Transistor. Those kind of games. Bastion, maybe. Those are the kind of graphics that it kind of reminds me of. Those are all pretty good games. Me, bro. Come at me, bro. Impeding further progress. A battle was sudden. Okay. Shield, huh? Nice. 
shield. Banished by light itself, the corruption abated, leaving the shard cold in hand, dark in need of life. Creative chest. Requires a gemstone. What's this? The shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. The shard grew warm, humming softly from the harnessed energy. Before him was now one more dangerous than those that came before. Oh, it's a box. See, that's a special skill. Cool. Goblins, a familiar threat, albeit farther out than usual. Magnificent, but dangerous, a land of love found of love lost. Before him was sacred ground, left untouched in days gone by. Remaining calm and collected, the shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion. Oh, who's this? Before him stood Linda, his eldest daughter, a bow and quiver, at the ready, determined to do her part. Okay, Linda, let's go. What divine relic? Oh, okay, from the god. Good to have a helper here. Okay, where else to go? There. Now is it open? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I knew is that last guy. Usually, you have to kill all the guys in the area before. Before you can the them. guardians were not beasts feeding, but monsters consuming. Destroying others, they corrupted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks. Huh, hungry husks. Let's see. Their thoughts, their hearts heavier than before. 
How would they explain what they had witnessed? The ancient tree had been cut down. Together, father and daughter described the horror, the creatures dripping with decay that slithered into bodies stuck between life and death to bolster their ranks. Grandma Margaret confirmed what they all feared. It was the corruption, a cruel entity spoken of only with hushed voices, an ocean of darkness that flowed from the top of Mount Morta. And the Bergson's duty was to stand against this devouring deluge of death. Kevin was also eager to do his part in the family's fight, especially when his older brother Mark was off somewhere. He was as much a guardian of their mountain home as any of them. She stood. If they were to reach the summit and destroy this evil, as the Bergsons of old had done in the past, they would need the assistance of the Sanctuary. Given to the Bergsons by Rhea herself, the sanctuary was a gateway to the mysterious lands around the mountain. Margaret pointed to the huge crystal at the center of the den, revealing their next task, to activate it and open the way to the source of the corruption. And once Rhea's three spirits are gathered on the grounds, the only gate to the top of Mount Mortar will open in this chamber. By himself, or with the assistance of those who loved him, John needed to gather the three spirits from their lands. Without them, he would not be able to stem the flow of the corruption. Let's see. Return home, countable. Holes of Anaya must be here, or she needs to be found. Okay, we have a choice of up to seven characters. Oh, and eventually unlocked, I mean. Okay, cool. Um, it's cool. It can be co-op too, apparently, because I see the two-player thing. You can be up to co-op. Okay, let's try. Um, let's continue with John. A celestial shard chipped directly from the ancient crystal in the sanctuary. It would be the Bergson's lifeline, a tether to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper. Center. Oh, there's spikes there. Okay, let's see. Better not stay there. Oh, shit. Let's get away. Oh, okay. It actually sucks me in. <laughs> I see. It sucks me in. Oh, can I stay away from that thing? It sucks me into the spikes.
Everyone was encouraged to take part in a game of destiny. A prize awaited the fortuitous. There was only pain for the unfortunate. What does that mean? Get some kind of prize? Okay, next two hits are ignored. Okay, cool. Gemstone drop chance. Decrease morph. What's a morph? Interesting. Oh shit. So many guys. Oh my god, so many guys. Too many guys. Oh my god, look how many guys here. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's see if I can lure them or something. Need a potion, need a potion. like Diablo in a sense as well. I mean, I guess a lot of action RPGs are like that. But yeah. Can't come in. Interesting. Second stage. Oh my god, so many guys. Oh my god. No. The boxen began to slip no. away, wondering if this was death. It was. Warmer than they expected. Oh my god. Run duration. Okay, so this is like a roguelike, I guess. It's going through runs. I guess in a way it's like Hades as well. It's like runs, right? Going on different they runs. gasped for air as the celestial shard brought them back. A sensation no hero could become accustomed to.
As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through Margaret's head. The corruption had amplified the creature's wickedness, and no longer were they part of the harmony of the Rhea. With the new threats looming, Margaret asked Ben to prepare his workshop. He would have to take charge of enhancing the warrior family's weapons and armor. Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. To the familiar like warmth. Spider-Man, Uncle Ben. <laughs> if they were to reach the top of Mount Water, their equipment would need to be of the highest quality. had spoken of such corruption flooding down the mountain. But Grandma Margaret wanted to know what it was and what needed to be done to destroy it. place I can go, I guess. Huh. Okay, uh, anyway, so I got the gist of this game, Children of Morta. Basically, it's like Hades. Uh, it's like an action RPG where it's like a kind of like a roguelike as well. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are enjoyed uh, games, and the, the, the art style reminds me of like Transistor or Bastion, those kind of games as well. So if you guys enjoyed like Transistor, Bastion, or Hades, then um, yeah, and maybe a little bit of Diablo as well then uh, you guys might enjoy Children of Morta. But that's basically what this game is. It's an action RPG that's uh, kind of roguelike as well. So, yeah, uh, it's okay. Uh, it's pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's like an outstanding kind of, ga kind of game, but uh, overall it's okay. Pretty decent, uh, like the art style and everything. But uh, yeah, otherwise, it's like uh, one of those Hades-likes, rogues-likes, I guess. <laughs> I call them Hades-likes, I guess, because uh, Hades made roguelikes really popular. But yeah, that's pretty much what it is. So guys, thanks for watching.